Atlanta United's young Argentine midfielder Tiago Almada is playing in the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Welcome to your favorite online soccer show Atlanta News Weekly Report. We will again review the hottest and latest soccer stories in Atlanta, Georgia, and nearby areas for the past week. On Wednesday, we start the week on a good note as Atlanta United announced on Wednesday that it had extended the contract of defender Brooks Lennon through the 2025 MLS season with a 2026 option. The Arizona native joined Atlanta in 2020 and has spent the last three seasons as a stalwart for the team. We are pleased to sign Brooks to a long-term contract with our club, Vice President and Technical Director Carlos Bocanegra said. Brooks has been one of the most consistent performers over the past few seasons. He's coming into the prime of his career and provides great MLS experience for our group. He consistently gets into dangerous positions on the field and creates chances for us, and we're excited for his future at Atlanta United, Bocanegra added. Since being acquired in a trade before the 2020 season, Lennon, 25, has made 89 appearances for Atlanta, with 80 of those 89 appearances occurring during the MLS regular season, the most of any player for Atlanta during that time. Over the past three seasons, he has started 71 games for Atlanta, where he has primarily operated as an outside back or winger. The offensive output of the defender has also increased, particularly over the past two seasons. After breaking his previous record for the most assists in a single season in 2021 with six, Lennon did it again in 2022 with seven assists and two goals. With 69 chances created, Lennon had the second most crosses completed among MLS defenders in 2022 with 76. The Paradise Valley, an Arizona native, received his first call-up to the United States men's national team following a successful 2021 campaign in Atlanta. He made his international debut on December 18, 2021, against Bosnia and Herzegovina. Before the CONCACAF World Cup qualifying in January 2022, he was invited to the USM and training camp. Lennon played for the national team at the U23 and U20 levels at the junior level. In 2017, he scored four goals at the CONCACAF Championship to assist his team in winning the competition. On Thursday, another piece of good news as three Metro Atlanta residents were chosen for the American men's national squad that will compete in the World Cup in Qatar. Manager Greg Berhalter chose Shaq Moore, Powder Springs, Walker Zimmerman, Lawrenceville, and Sean Johnson, Lilburn, whose selections were made public on Wednesday. Johnson, 33, has worked as a goalie for Major League Soccer his whole career. He has appeared in 355 games for Chicago and NYCFC, helping the latter team won the MLS Cup in 2021. He has played 10 times for the United States. As a center back in Major League Soccer, Zimmerman, 29, has made 217 appearances for Dallas, LAFC, and Nashville. In 2020 and 21, he received the MLS Defender of the Year Award. He has played 33 times for the United States. Moore, 26, is a teammate of Walker Zimmerman's in Nashville, SC, which would provide the US MNT with consistency and familiarity along a back line that needs it. Moore has 15 national team appearances under his belt after making his debut in a 2018 exhibition match against Ireland. He was pivotal to the American's 2021 CONCACAF Gold Cup victory and was most recently called up for four 2022 World Cup qualifying games. Although Moore spent some time in the FC Dallas Academy when he was younger before moving to Europe, he spent most of his professional career there before joining Nashville during the summer. Zimmerman is anticipated to start. Cameron Carter Vickers of Celtic, Tim Ream of Fulham, and Aaron Long of the New York Red Bulls were also chosen as centre-backs. AC will go off against Moore. Sergino Dest of Milan, Anthony Robinson of Fulham, DeAndre Yedlin of Inter Miami, and Joe Scali of Borussia Mönchengladbach are vying for one of the two fullback positions. Ethan Horvath, a player for Luton Town in the English second level, and Matt Turner, an Arsenal backup, will be Johnson's rivals. Brendan Aronson of Leeds United, K. 
Kellen Acosta of LAFC, Tyler Adams of Leeds United, Luca De La Torre of Celta Vigo, Weston McKenney of Juventus, Eunice Musa of Valencia, and Christian Roldan of Seattle were all chosen as midfielders. The forwards chosen were Jess Ferreira of Dallas, Jordan Morris of Seattle, Christian Pulisic of Chelsea, Gio Reyna of Borussia Dortmund, Josh Sargent of Norwich, Tim Weah of Leo, and Haji Wright of Antalyaspor. The American World Cup squad's average age is 25 years, 175 days, making it the second youngest in history. In MLS, there are nine players. On Friday, we learned that the three Metro Atlanta residents chosen to be part of the United States men's soccer team in the 2022 World Cup in Qatar are hopeful their selection will inspire more kids here to play soccer and dream of becoming part of USMNT in the future. Manager Greg Berhalter chose Shaq Moore, Powder Springs, Walker Zimmerman, Lawrenceville, and Sean Johnson, Lilburn, whose selections were made public on Wednesday. Manager Greg Berhalter chose Shaq Moore, Powder Springs, Walker Zimmerman, Lawrenceville, and Sean Johnson, Lilburn, whose selections were made public on Wednesday. Zimmerman, who will likely start at centre-back, expressed his pleasure at the opportunity to represent Metro Atlanta. The 29-year-old has played 33 times for the United States. He remarked, I hope we can inspire kids the way that, you know, Clint Mathis from Georgia inspired us. So being able to motivate others and promote your hometown is just a remarkable aspect of your profession, you know? Moore's route wasn't as straightforward as Johnson and Zimmerman, who attended college after graduating from Brookwood High School, Zimmerman at Furman and Johnson at Central Florida, before being selected by MLS teams. Moore relocated from Powder Springs to attend IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida, where Atlanta United has held two preseason training camps. After that, Moore started working out with Dallas, which selected Zimmerman in the 2013 draft, and then he moved to Spain, where he played for different clubs. During the most recent season, he was moved from Nashville to Tenerife in the second tier. Moore, 26, has represented the United States in 15 games. Being able to represent the South is fantastic. He added that inspiring young people who dream of getting an opportunity by showing them that two players from their home countries can play in the World Cup is fantastic. On Monday, we start the week on a good note as the Atlanta United management has offered a four-year contract extension for star defensive specialist Miles Robinson. Technical director Carlos Bocanegra says an offer for an extension is already out to the USMNTCB. We have a four-year guaranteed deal on the table for Miles. We hope to have good news by the end of the year, Bocanegra said. Sources said a contract extension has yet to be a deal since teams from Bundesliga and Premier Leagues are reportedly seeking the services of Robinson, who achieved many milestones in 2021. Two of the milestones of Robinson in 2021 are making it to the United States men's soccer team, USMST, and getting a slot in the 2021 Major League Soccer All-Star Game. Robinson ended 2021 with a bang by getting one of the coveted slots in the 2021 MLS Best 11. Robinson is picked as the starting defender on the list. According to reports, the MLS Best 11 is the second selection for Robinson since 2019. The Best 11, recognizing the league's top players at each position as determined by media, players, and club technical staff, features players from eight countries and five clubs, all of which qualified for the Audi 2021 MLS Cup playoffs. Robinson started 25 of his 26 MLS appearances in 2021 and was named to his first MLS All-Star team. The 24-year-old ranked second in MLS in dual success rate, min 100 duels, at 66.83% behind teammate Ezekiel Barco. In the 25 matches in which he played 90 minutes, Atlanta conceded an average of 0.92 goals per match and tallied 9 clean sheets. He scored his first career MLS goal on decision day against FC Cincinnati and recorded his first MLS assist on May 29 against Nashville SC. Robinson has 14 caps and 3 goals with the USMNT, earning his senior team debut on September 6, 2019, 
in a friendly against Mexico. He made his first start and scored his first international goal in a 7-0 win against Trinidad and Tobago on January 31, 2021. Robinson started all six matches and scored two goals at the 2021 CONCACAF Gold Cup, where he helped the U.S. secure five clean sheets and scored the game-winning goal in the final to defeat Mexico 1-0. The 24-year-old was also recently named to his first MLS All-Star team and has started 14 of his 15 MLS appearances in 2021. On Tuesday, we learned that Thiago Almada, a midfielder for Atlanta United, was selected to play for Argentina's men's national team at the FIFA World Cup TM in Qatar, according to breaking news released by Argentina on Thursday afternoon. Almada was a last-minute replacement who took Joaquin Correa's position on the squad. The Atlanta United midfielder became a viable possibility for Argentina head coach Lionel Scaloni thanks to his impressive club play, which earned him the MLS Newcomer of the Year award, and a recent international showing. Almada made his senior international debut on September 23 after being called to Argentina for a pair of friendlies. Even Argentina captain Lionel Messi praised the 21-year play olds in the 3-0 victory over Honduras. The information is groundbreaking for MLS and Atlanta United. Almada is the first player still playing for Atlanta United to represent his nation at a World Cup. He also becomes the first player from the MLS to play for Argentina in the competition. In the competition, Argentina joins Group C, which also features Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. On November 22, the team's first game will take place against Saudi Arabia. This week's soccer stories are just amazing and fun. Thank you so much for watching our episode this week. Always make it a habit to watch our show on YouTube and other social media channels. Aside from our show, make it a habit to visit our website https colon slash slash atlantazocicere.news for the latest and hottest soccer news in Atlanta and its surrounding areas. If you love our show, make it a point to like, comment, and share this with your family and friends. COVID-19 remains a threat, so don't forget to get vaccinated. Always keep yourself safe, guys. Goodbye for now.